Hi everyone, my name is Johan Mallet. I'm a senior program manager with Microsoft, part of the customer experience and engineering team. Today we're going to talk about Microsoft Cloud App Security and its Cloud App Discovery feature. Cloud App Discovery will allow you to get more information about which cloud applications are in use in your environment, whether these are perfectly sanctioned and acceptable applications like Office 365 or applications that you do not want to see in your environment. You'll be able to identify shadow IT, risky applications, and applications that have potentially suspicious or risky traffic, such as too much upload, which could indicate some kind of data exfiltration. Let's start with a quick demo. Let's start with opening the Cloud App Security Portal. Right away, we will navigate to the Cloud Discovery Dashboard. In this dashboard, you can get a global view of the data captured by MCAS. The number of apps, the number of users, which type of applications, here we see Cloud Storage as a majority, then you can also see which are the top apps being used by the users. One drive and box here. And on the right side, you can see the top users. As it is a heavily used application, let's start with investigating box. On this page, you can see more information about the usage of the application. You can see the number of total users. You can see the amount of traffic, total, and just upload. And you can see the trend of usage over the last few days. Clicking on the Info tab will teach you more about the app itself. You will know more about its security score. It's divided in several categories, general, security, compliance, and legal. Based on your own personal need, you can actually change the weight of each of those settings. The User tabs will give you a full list of all the users leveraging this app. You can sort it by traffic or by upload to find out the relevant trend about how the users are leveraging this app. After reviewing this data, you can decide if this usage complies or not with your corporate policy, and you can potentially sanction or unsanction the app. If you have any suspicion over a large user's traffic, you can pivot into its profile and find out more. Now you can see more information about how many apps this user has been using and the traffic trend. Clicking on discovered apps, you can filter by score, and identify immediately which risky apps he's been leveraging. Leveraging risky apps could potentially mean that the user has been compromised and is now uploading data against his will to very suspicious providers. This could also suggest poor user decisions in choosing their cloud providers and would require better user education. So now that we've seen that demo, you're probably wondering how does that data actually get into Microsoft Cloud App Security? Well, the key here is traffic log. We want to make sure that the traffic log from your clients are able to go all the way to Microsoft Cloud App Security. For that, we have different ways of proceeding. Number one, you can use what we call a log collector. That log collector will sit within your network and will gather logs from your firewall. Then the logs are sent directly to the cloud, to Microsoft Cloud App Security. The other way, much easier, we can actually benefit from an integration with Microsoft Defender ATP. And when you enable this integration, which can actually be done in one single click, the logs will directly go from my, uh, your laptop all the way to Microsoft Defender ATP in the cloud. And that would be wherever the client is, whether it's on-prem or outside of your corporate premises. Thank you all for watching that video. If you want to see more of these, just join our security community with the link showing up on your screen right now.